What are the building blocks of an Alexa skill? Well, let's start at the top. To start using a skill, a person says, Alexa, start the Landmarks quiz. Landmarks quiz? I like traveling. OK. The word Alexa is what we call the wake word, to get Alexa to start listening. The word start is a connector word that makes the phrase more natural. You can use words like start, open, ask, play, tell, begin, or not use it at all. And then there's the Landmarks quiz. That's the invocation name that starts your specific skill. When I say, Alexa, start the Landmarks quiz, the skill would respond with a welcome. And I could say, start a game. Notice I don't need to say Alexa or the invocation name once I'm using the skill. In fact, Alexa and I can keep going back and forth indefinitely. The phrase start a game is an utterance. Paul could have said other utterances like play a new game, let's do this, or bring it on. They all map to the same intent, the start game intent. So let's say the skill asks me a question. It says, what US city has the Space Needle? My answer could be Seattle, Washington, or it could just be Seattle. That utterance maps to the answer intent and contains two variables called slots. The city slot is Seattle, and the state slot is Washington. If we were asked about the Eiffel Tower, the utterance would still map to the answer intent and contains a slot for the city when I respond with Paris. All right, so let's try a one shot. It goes like this. Alexa, ask Landmark Quiz, where is the Tokyo Tower? In that example, there's the wake word Alexa, and ask is the connector word. Landmark Quiz is our invocation name, and then the phrase, where is the Tokyo Tower, is the utterance, and that maps to a study intent. And again, there's a slot that's the Tokyo Tower. All right, thanks everybody for watching. I'm Jeff Blankenberg. And I'm Paul Kutzinger. We'd love to continue the conversation on Twitter, LinkedIn, or anywhere you like to chat. You can also read more in the Alexa Design Guide.